Hey guys, welcome back. So I've noticed a large section of this community crying about the quick scope apocalypse. That's really difficult to say. We'll call it the quick scoping epidemic of Infinite Warfare Beta. Myself included, I am one of those people that are crying and moaning about the quick scoping in Infinite Warfare. I don't like the unfair advantage a sniper has within this game because as we know, the time to kill is pretty fast in the beta anyway, whether it's going to carry over to the full game, who knows, we don't know yet. I don't mind a quick time to kill, I enjoy the hectic style of a quick time to kill. It was the same in Ghosts. For me, it makes me play better, it makes people play better because I'm obviously concentrating more, I calculate my moves better, my flank routes are better, I'm a bit more strategic, but all that aside, that's irrelevant. For me, in the Infinite Warfare beta, once you see that glare from the sniper scope, it's too late. It's lights out. Even if you manage to put one or two bullets into the sniper, there seems to be absolutely zero flinch in this game. Because if a sniper is ADSing, and I get, say, a few shots off and one or two bullets into him, he still seems to get a shot off and kills me. That, to me, is an unfair gunfight. I'm not moaning about snipers in Call of Duty because we have had snipers in Call of Duty since forever basically. I'm not moaning about the people that choose to snipe in Call of Duty, that's not my gripe here. Because I know it's a skill, and a skill that I have yet to master. Not that I'm actually really trying to master the quickscope, but if I, if I wanted to, I could. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm not going to. It's not that. I don't mind people that snipe. What I've noticed, a few people saying that the, the snipers are fine, leave them alone. They're absolutely fine. It's just you, you're crap. <laughs> Your shots just weren't on target. Bullshit. Don't tell me that I can't use a sniper. If I want a snipe or not, I'll snipe. Don't you tell me what to do. I'm not complaining about that. People can complain about me running around, hosing down people with an SMG or an OP assault rifle like the NV4, which I do really think is a pretty good solid assault rifle. You know, should that be nerfed? Is that something to complain about? No, that's not my argument. My argument, an issue with the snipers in the Infinite Warfare beta, is that anyone can pick up a sniper and quick scope. It takes zero skill. There's no massive learning curve. I didn't get good at this game overnight. I didn't get good at playing Call of Duty in one or two games. I didn't get good at this game by always using the same OP weapon or the most OP weapons in the game. I enjoy a challenge. I enjoy unorthodox class setups and unorthodox weapons. I wouldn't want to constantly use a weapon in the game that leaves every gunfight unfair because that would be unfair to everyone. And that's what I see with the snipers in Infinite Warfare better. Whether it's close quarters combat or a long range, the snipers seem to have the superior advantage within the beta. At range, yes, lying prone, ADSing, lying ghillie suited up in the grass, that's what a sniper should be. Okay, yes, it may be frustrating, but at least you can combat that, you can get them the next time. You'll watch the kill cam and you'll run around and flank them as long as he doesn't move. <laughs> Camping it may be, but you can always kill a camper. Campers are fun. But this thing of sliding around a corner or, or jumping off a wall and doing a 360 insta swap no scope and getting a fucking headshot on me, that, in my opinion, is not how a sniper should be in any first person shooter, not just Call of Duty, but any first person shooter. I know I'm, I'm almost bordering on in real life, you know, this is obviously just a video game, but let's keep it fair, guys, let's, let's level the playing field, let's keep it fair for everyone. Now one thing I did notice in the Infinite Warfare beta, and I talked about it in my last commentary, was how almost everything has a counter, you know, with the perks to balance things up. We talked about the perks and, and each one can counter another, well apart from Ghost, which I do strongly believe they'll they'll definitely take a look at, because no one wants to return to the, the old Ghost, where it was what, like everyone was off the UAV, just completely off the radar when a UAV was up, that makes no sense. What they did, they, they changed it. You know, leave it. It's not broke. Don't try and fix it. Leave it alone. That unfortunately makes it a crutch perk that everyone will use. UAVs are pointless in this game. But the way I look at it, snipers have no counter unless, that's right, unless you use this secret little weapon. This is the tips and tricks part of the video. <laughs> the Rack 9 pump action shotgun. Now, as you see here from this gameplay, I do play quite aggressively and 
uh, I plan out my flank routes and, and this weapon is an animal on a map obviously like Frontier. I think I end up, as you see on the screen here, I end up going 36 and 9 with a 4 KD. The snipers didn't stand a chance, there weren't actually too many snipers in this map, but I'm just saying. <laughs> they don't stand a chance against this shotgun in close quarter combat and that's the way it should be. So if you're all wondering how to overcome the, the quick scope apocalypse of 2016 or the quick scoping epidemic, here it is guys, here is your tips and tricks, how to beat a sniper, and yeah, I'm, I'm not going to name, I'm not going to title this video that, but anyway guys, here you go, is this the Remington of Infinite Warfare, ah, oh, not again, anyway guys, thanks for watching, love ya, bye. <laughs> Thirty-six and nine.